So you might be in a situation where for some reason you forgot your specific you know, pattern or your lock code for your Android device. Now, luckily for you, there is a way to kind of fix this. The first thing I'd recommend doing is trying a few different passcodes that you've probably thought of. So if you remember any, just type it in. Because what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and keep failing at this thing and basically just keep trying different passcodes that we once had, which should allow us to go ahead and get a little pop-up that will actually allow us to basically get back into our device. So you can see for now, I actually you know, don't have the ability of doing that right now. But if you did have the ability, you should be able to see something that comes up, which will allow us to go ahead for somehow, basically allow us to go ahead and recover our specific thing. So now if I go and let this one die out, so if you give it another couple seconds, if you try it again, you should be able to see a little pop-up that will tell you, hey, you know, if you forgot your passcode, you can just log in via your, you know, Google account information. So if we go and do it again, we can try it once more and it should allow us to basically do it. So if you see, it's going to time us out eventually. So as you can see, it gives us another 30 seconds. Eventually, we should see a little pop-up that, that should allow us to go ahead and recover via our account. So that is basically the number one way to do it. It's basically the easiest way to do it for the most part as well. But again, it looks like every phone can be a little bit different. Now, another thing that you are going to have to do for the most part, if for some reason this method is not working, if you really, really want to get into your phone and you don't care about the data within it, you can find the way to actually go ahead and basically get your phone and factory reset it. Now, this will go ahead, and I can't promise you that your phone will be recovered this way, but essentially you will be able to, if you look online at what type of Android phone you have, you can find the way to go ahead and basically factory reset and getting into boot mode with basically the volume buttons on the side. So if I go ahead and take a look, if I type in like, you know, Galaxy S21 factory reset with buttons, well, what I can do is I can go ahead and basically find the way to go and factory reset this phone with the buttons. And it basically will tell us if we want an alternate reset, we can go ahead and basically hold the volume and the side button simultaneously to get into the Android recovery screen. So we can go ahead and try that. So we can go and press and hold down the you know, volume up and side button simultaneously until the Android recovery screen comes up. So you can go ahead and try this method too. And again, I don't know if I would recommend doing this for everybody, but whichever, if you're comfortable with deleting everything from your phone and not having anything saved on your device, well, what you can do is hold down both those buttons. Well, what you can do is hold down the buttons to get into basically the safe mode or you know, Android recovery screen. And from there, you should be able to recover and just delete everything from your phone if you really want to that way, and then get and log back into your device. So that's another option that you basically have as well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.